Come and see our resident mad doctor. Oh, hello, good evening. Welcome. It must be time for Creepy Cheapies, also known as Dr. Lady's Affordable Mask Pick of the Week, hosted by me, Sir Edmund Hillary. Uh, this week on Creepy Cheapies, I'd like to point out a mask that's kind of a modern classic. Really, just about every collection has one, and should have one, I think. And every uh, haunted attraction that you might uh, visit probably has some image in there of this particular character right here, known as Rotting Ralph. Now, Rotting Ralph started out as an elusive concepts mask. That's elusive, I-L-L, -L, not elusive, E-L. It's elusive concepts. Like illusion, you get it? Elu yeah. Uh, first started out as an elusive concepts. Now, this is an elusive concepts copy here that I have. And uh, was later picked up by Don Post Studios. So the later ones are from Don Post. Pretty much the same, although the Don Post ones uh, that I've seen are a little bit smaller, which is really not a bad thing at all because uh, for a dead person this is kind of large and a lot of uh, a lot of elusive concepts masks are sort of oversized uh, great great image here uh, again once this came out it was very popular since the mask they have done other things with it like put it on uh, oh, a little prop head on a stick and a couple of different uh, ghost body uh, props and toys and things because it's just uh, a good scary image now it's kind of weird that it's called Ralph uh, it's clearly based on uh, Cheryl, the woman in the basement from the original uh, Evil Dead, 1982. Uh, and then it also looks uh, rather like Henrietta, the other woman in the basement from Evil Dead 2. So it looks like two female characters sort of melded together, uh, neither one of whom would really be called Ralph. So I'm not sure why it became Ralph, maybe just to uh, detract attention away from the fact that it resembles uh, Evil Dead. But anyway, it's not an official Evil Dead mask. Some people, uh, I've heard it referred to and seen it um, uh, marketed, I should say, online as being uh, from Evil Dead, as being Cheryl from the first Evil Dead, but it really isn't. It's really, it's just Ralph, okay? But it's kind of a cross between Cheryl and Henrietta, and apparently that led to Ralph. Now. Uh, everybody loves this mask. It's all over the place, uh, and I think it deserves it. It's very scary. It's very dramatic, and it's also pretty easy to wear. It's uh, full head latex. I've got this one on a piece of uh, PVC pipe that I got from the local hardware store. True story. And as you can see, it's full head latex with a slit up the back so you can wear it. Uh, again, this is an IC model. The DP one that followed is pretty similar, uh, made pretty much the same way with the rooted, long, stringy, gray, silvery, spooky hair. What a great spooky face this is, if you like spooky faces. And who the heck doesn't? And uh, before you leave, wait, sit back down a minute. Let me show you one more thing quick before you leave. Now, when you, if you order one of these or you try to uh, go in search of one to add to your own, gallery of horrors, your own mask collection, your own haunted attraction. Before you do that, be sure you're aware that they also make the El Cheapo version. Okay, now this this one is just made by, uh, well, Paper Magic, which is, you know, um, part of Don Post, or Don Post is part of Paper Magic, I should say. Well, anyway, this one says Paper Magic on it. I don't think the El Cheapo version uh, has a proper name like Rotting Ralph. I think it's just called Ghoul. I think it's just like generic Ghoul, but uh, let me take it off the high dollar styrofoam wig head that it's on for this presentation this evening and show you that the El Cheapo version, which by the way is not official, that's me saying El Cheapo, it's not actually called. Don't go on eBay and look up El Cheapo mask Rotting Ralph because it's not really called that. And anyway, that would be silly if you talked in voice like that. So. Uh, Rotting Ralph here, the El Cheapo version. The cheap version is uh, vinyl rather than latex. It does not have a neck and as you can see, even though it looks pretty much uh, like, it, like it came from um, a casting from an identical sculpture, looks pretty much the same in terms of detailing. The general shapes and so much are, uh, and so forth are really not there. The general contours, a lot was lost in translation. but. 
Riding Ralph, the deluxe one that you want in your uh, collection and in your haunted attraction, is in the neighborhood of uh, 50, 60 bucks retail, which, fine, good price for it, perfectly okay. Sometimes cheaper, I've seen it for like 40, even better. Uh, but this one, before, before you start bad-mouthing the cheap one, let me uh, point out that uh, unlike some of us, I think it has its place in the universe too, because, um, you know, if somebody just wanted uh, a spooky ghoul ghost looking mask, uh, maybe to be worn by someone who has claustrophobia and can't stand to have the neck tucked into their costume and they're going to be pulling it off and on all night, or maybe a small kid. Uh, it, for one thing, it's a little smaller face size and it would fit a kid better than the, the adult, the big model. And uh, maybe a kid doesn't have the focus and concentration skills and the patience to keep a big heavy mask on. Well, here you go. You can easily pull it up and down. It's just got a vinyl uh, front half, a vinyl face mask with a wig attached. Pretty generous portion of hair. And uh, this thing is not marketed as a big collector's item. It's only uh, in the neighborhood of 15 bucks. So you can't go wrong for 15 bucks. And again, it's not a collector's item really, but if, uh, if you just need a scary mask to, uh, you know, jump out and frighten people at your haunted attraction or you know, frighten the elderly in your neighborhood, it gets the job done. But uh, you want to be sure you're not ordering one of those because what you want is the deluxe Rotting Ralph right here with a little bit of Cheryl and a little bit of he Henrietta and a little bit of hair and a lot of scare. So that's your recommendation for this week. Join us here again next time. And remember, a rolling stone is worth two in the bush.